Today on The Daily Dose, typhus, one of the worst unseen enemies of man. From the early 16th century until the mid-20th century, typhus took the lives of more soldiers than all military actions combined. In cities, more died from typhus than from street accidents, crime, starvation, or civil unrest. In prisons throughout pre-20th century Europe, Typhus extracted a greater death toll than mistreatment, torture, and execution combined, which caused the disease to be appropriately named jailhouse fever. Typhus victims experienced nausea, fever and rash, progressive delirium and stupor, gangrenous sores, severe headache, and a piercing sensitivity to light. The name typhus comes from the ancient Greek word typhos, meaning smoky or lazy which describes the state of mind of those afflicted by the disease. The responsible bacteria, identified today as Rickettsia proeziki, is now known to be widespread in rodent hosts, including mice and rats, although it ultimately spreads to humans via mites, fleas, body lice, and a North American flying squirrel. In North America, typhus epidemic struck Philadelphia in 1837, followed by an outbreak in 1843 in Concord, New Hampshire, which took the life of the son of Franklin Pierce, the 14th President of the United States. Similar outbreaks were unleashed in Baltimore, Memphis, and Washington, D.C. between the years of 1865 and 1873. Comparable to present-day Third World shanty towns and refugee camps, the Industrial Revolution further strengthened typhus as a lethal disease. Categorized as a filth disease, typhus flourished in North American cities before the creation of antibiotics such as tetracycline and an effective array of vaccines, exacerbated by foul housing, overcrowding, overflowing cesspools, poverty, hunger, and physical exhaustion. Today, typhus remains virtually wiped out in North America thanks to the advent of modern sanitation techniques and the eradication of rats and lice still prevalent in the Asia-Pacific Basin, in developing countries with inadequate sanitation measures, the CDC estimates about 1 million new typhus infections annually, with an annual loss of life of over 300,000 lives. And there you have it, typhus, today on The Daily Dose.